Hey everyone, good to see you again. This is an energy update for the full moon and lunar eclipse on Thursday, November 18th, 2021. And it's great to have you here. I want to talk about the illumination that this full moon and eclipse is bringing in, right? Eclipse kind of represents the shadow side of us. The moon is that illuminated light side of us, that yin and yang. And so it's kind of a really interesting dichotomy and um, duality that's coming in through this period tonight. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been feeling it just as far as like these energies that are pretty intense and in bringing things to the forefront, illuminating for me uh, a couple days beforehand, which is really kind of nice because we're stepping into our power fully. So this is not really about, well, it is about discerning and it's about releasing and clearing the wounds and all of that. But if you put all that together, what is that really about? It's really about standing in our truth and stepping into mastership. And I talk a lot about this um, on my uh, Soul Sister Speak with Linda Light and with other tribe members. This is really about getting into the space where we are completely in alignment and in truth with ourselves. And so we're really having to bring in all of those tools. I talked about this before, but now we're really seeing it. So all of those connections that have been lost are being made, all of those observations that we've been making are now being integrated and merged. Um, all of those relationships that we've been working on or that really relationship with ourselves, is really coming into true illumination and alignment. And so we're being called to really look in the mirror, not just the mirror of, um, you know, what am I responsible for? What are my parts? What is my stuff that I need to own, which I talk about a lot, but what beauty can I put out into the world? So seeing yourself as that beauty in the world, and I'm going to credit my sister Jeanette <laughs> for bringing this to my attention, talking about looking in the mirror and noticing what you're bringing, what beauty you're bringing to the world. So within your truth and that discernment, finding that center of you in the solar plexus and in the heart space and in the third eye and the crown, those upper chakras. What is this like, what is the beauty of you going to bring forth to the world going into the next year? What is going to be illuminated to you that you've been hiding in the shadows or you've been feeling bad about because it was a shadow side of you. How can you alchemize that shadow side and bring it into the light so that you are putting your light out into the world in a way that nobody else can? And we've been talking about this, you know, this is all the spiritual speak and what we've been talking about for a long time, but that's really what's happening going into next year. So this year was really a year of clearing. The last two years were just like deep, deep, deep wound clearing and ancestral clearing and you know, all that kind of stuff. And now karmic clearing. And now not to say that that's going to totally go away, but this is now all about, you know, it's like the wobbly foal that's been born, you know, by its mom, from its mom. Our, our legs are getting stronger. And so we're moving forward into 2022, especially with this very, very powerful moon. This, I think this eclipse hasn't happened. This type of alignment hasn't happened in like 500 years. Like this is a big deal. This is a lot of big energy coming through. And so many of us are really having to stand firmly in our truth and really having to dissect, yet not dissect, <laughs> if that makes sense, dissect by looking at it and examining it, but then letting it go and just letting it integrate on its own. It's really all about intention, how you want to show up in the world. If you have an intention to show up in the world as empowered and strong, that's the way it will be. If you have the intention of to live in a beautiful reality that's filled with love and oneness and compassion and neighbors helping neighbors and people seeing each other for who they really are, then that's what's going to manifest for you. We are such powerful manifestors and with this full moon and the eclipse, guides are telling me right now this is all about manifestation not just so, not like law of attraction. This is really about like cr absolutely creating your reality from your thoughts, emotions, actions on a constant basis. 
This is like a habit. This is making it a habit now. So not just, you know, working on it here and there, but making it a habit so that your truth is always in alignment. You're always in alignment because you're in the habit of discerning constantly. You're in the habit of really knowing who you are. You're in the habit of seeing the beauty in you and releasing the stuff now from past that doesn't matter anymore. So those cycles, those poop loops, as we call them, they keep coming back around. They don't need to come around anymore. You know, they don't need to be there. We're done with those. And really now it's about seeing the light in yourself and the light in others, seeing yourself and others, that law of oneness, noticing, um, noticing the depth and the divine consciousness in others and co-creating throughout. Yeah, so I wanted to do an activation to really bring that online, to really merge those shadow and those light parts um, and just to let them to just rest and settle in and merge so that we're not constantly bringing them back up because it feels like an ending. It feels like things are ending. These cycles of us always being in woundedness, these cycles of us being in suffering, they're just started, they're ending. They're just not gonna exist in the way that we knew them before previously going forward. So I'm going to bring in an activation light language for that and just setting an intention for yourself to only be in the energy of love, to not distract yourself with anything else that is less than love. Um, and it may sound kind of utopic, but really utopia, is that a word? Utopic? I don't know. Anyway, it may sound, you know, like pie in the sky, but it's not. It's really about holding that vibration more often than not going forward, holding it no, more often than not, no matter what's going on around you, holding that vibration, because that's really what we are. That's the reality that we are creating here as way showers, star seeds, light workers. Okay. So just get comfortable. It'll be a real short activation. I'm going to close my eyes and just taking deep breaths and really grounding. Just bringing that full moon and eclipse into your awareness, visualizing that feeling the pull. As I say now, I'm feeling the pull from the high heart, the solar plexus really lifting up through and just really starting to feel yourself being activated in that power. It's extremely powerful, this energy coming in today, tonight. Bringing in that heart light from the moon coming in bringing it into the heart space bringing in those shadow sides into the heart space where they have existed in duality but no longer dissolving fear Dissolving anything lower than love. Using the moon as your mirror. Imagine yourself looking in the mirror, the shadow mirror and the light mirror. Knowing that both are you, both are everyone else. These aspects of us in the quantum field. This is Syrian energy coming through. Standing in your power, not accepting anything less. Only accepting the central core of light coming through you. Opening up the heart, releasing all of the wounds, releasing the cycles of fear. Opening up the matrices, opening up the grids. Inua, sending out love from the heart. Very empowered frequency coming through right now. Miasa, lots of blue and green, just kind of these emanating light beams 
coming in. Miasu to shana esiana, miasu kota ishunama. We want you to know your power. We want you to understand what you can create. Miasu shana inya, usu shana mahesi kata miasu niya sujina settle for less. Miasu yana su kota shunana ma. Teaching mankind, teaching humankind, de integrating divine feminine and masculine, to restore the life tree. Be in power to restore the life tree. Thanks, everyone. That was an interesting, very interesting transmission coming through from the Syrians. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are looking for a light language tribe, Please um, go onto my website. We have a light language group. I've got a webinar on Teachable that you can look at if you're interested and you're new to this. Um, the tribe calls that we do first and third Tuesday of every month for those who are stepping into the gifts of light language and um, also light language webinars until the end of the year. I think I've got two more left. Uh, otherwise, it'll be on Teachable if you're interested. But please check in. And um, I'm so glad to have you here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.